Oh, Hago's legacy is being made. Despite all these so-called boycotts that failed, Hago's legacy 2 is going to be a game that's going to happen. Yep, this is the seek. The sequel of Hogwarts Legacy is going to happen. The game has sold 12 million copies worldwide. It's even selling so well, and it's selling in Japan. That's, that, that's making the PS5 actually sell pretty well in Japan. Because Hogwarts Legacy is that popular. Even people in Japan are buying it. Okay. That's how well selling this game is selling. Okay. And what was the point of this boycott? What was the point? Okay. It failed. It did horribly. Okay. As well. So Hogwarts Legacy 2 is being teased by the developers of the game. Because of how well the game had sold. Which means the, the, the familiar faces of Twitter is going to be crying if this game was successful. They're going to be crying and crying all day because this game was successful. But yep. Hogwarts Legacy is gay as sequel. The biggest slap in the face for the so-called boycott of the game. The so-called hateful and controversial game as well. And they're also making a TV series based around Hogwarts Legacy as well. They see Hogwarts Legacy as a long-term franchise, which means there can be multiple sequels in the future. Oh, the horror the left has to deal with more sequels of Harry Potter games. Oh, the horror. Oh my god. And they're already saying that the game, the second game will be spectacular. This is one of the fastest selling games of all time. With Elden Ring and Cyberpunk 2077. And maybe Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Which that game is not really deserving of one of the fastest selling games of all time. But Hogwarts Legacy 2 is happening. And there's nothing they can do about it. Nothing they can do about it. No, no more of cried, moaning and cried. They can do to make it a TV series on HBO Max, which will probably get some people to watch HBO Max, and they're making a sequel to Hogwarts Legacy as well. So, your boycott failed.